and we are back. This time we'll be hunting elephant with you on Herman Safaris between the Salati and the Elephants River, right on the boundary of the Greater Kruger Park in South Africa. If you don't understand the elephant hunting or why people would like to shoot an elephant, this is the video to watch. It gives you a way broader perspective on what elephant hunting in Africa is all about. Am I dreaming? Oh, I'm living in my dream. Like every, like every hunt, you know, the excitement of every hunt um, begins, you know, with the planning and preparation and getting everything together and that's all that excitement and, you know, and, and anticipation um, of what dance is going to be. But when you do elephant hunting, it's that times 10, you know, just to prepare everything and it's you know it's there's nothing bigger to hunt in the world than a than a big elephant bull and uh, this hunt was no different you know we were so excited um, about the prospect of hunting and and coming and doing it and then when you arrive then it's the stress of are you going to find one and then you find one then it's the stress of the wind is going to be good and you know if it's if it's the right bull and if you're making the right call 416 rigby going out there and spending time in the African bush, particularly when you're hunting dangerous game, is to have the trust and the belief in the outfitter and the person that you're hunting with. Um, they're there to keep you safe. They, are th they have a vast amount of experience, um, particularly with, with, with your hun. Um, you know, you are you need to be con you need to be capable, confident in your own ability, but you really need to trust your outfit and and and, and trust your pH when you get into difficult situations. This is the first afternoon. Trevor just arrived uh, out of Natal, and uh, this coming week is going to be his elephant hunt. And it's going to be, you know, we have already seen quite a few elephants. The place is beautiful. It's just water everywhere. We're um, right on the Salati River. And uh, there's some bass in the in here, so we're all looking for a for a bass or two to catch. But uh, the main quarry will be a big elephant bull uh, for Mr. Trevor. And uh, you know we're excited for tomorrow. We're starting tomorrow. We're going to be in here looking and tracking and and seeing what we find. And we're looking forward to a really really good week. Not the size <laughs> that matters. Yeah. It's the smell. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that holds man. the camera can also catch a fish. <laughs> they say it's not the size, it's what? <laughs> the smell. <laughs> If you watch this, you have to ask yourself the question is, what do you know about it? What do you know about the elephant population? What do you know about human encroachment? And, and, and especially, what do you know about elephant-human conflict? So, the thing about the conservation of elephants, 
South Africa is brilliant in its elephant conservation. It's brilliant. You know, the, the parks, the people, you know, the, 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 the rangers. So, so that's why South Africa's, pop, South Africa's population is growing like that, because of good conservation. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying anything is bad about this. It's because of brilliant conservation. And effort. And effort from, from the rangers, and effort from the, from the parks that we have an excess of elephants. You cannot only think on it with emotion. You know, you need to know something about it, and, and that's the problem. This is an area where there should not be elephant, where there's human and there's cattle, and there's, there's, a, you know, there's people living. And unfortunately, the elephants need space. First morning, um, we got our permit um, for the area sign and seal, so, you know, 007, license to kill. Uh, but we'll, this morning we'll scout around a bit, we'll see, what, we'll see what we pick up, and we'll see what kind of tracks is in the area. Um, see if we can find a big track of good character, maybe follow that for a while, see what we can pick up. So, um, just familiarize us with the area, and, you know, what, what is around the area, and we'll take it from there. I'm excited. Yeah. Sounds exciting, let's go and see what we can do. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome, you know, it's just, what a privilege to be hunt, to be here and to hunt these magnificent beasts, you know. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's something else, it really is. This is the second time I've seen a big African rock python. Very special. It's a privilege to be able to see it go off in the bush and yeah. mm -hmm. end up on someone's plate. Absolutely, absolutely. Wonderful creature. Mm. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Big black mama. See him. Big black mama. In the, in the crack, yeah. See him. Oh, yes, shit, hello, shit. If I can ask if we can just take a detour around him, it would be appreciated. Yes, uh, even myself. But it was thick. Thick like a optimal polyethylene poly pipe. Yeah. yeah. So the scouting was cut short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a mamba said, you are not coming up here. And then this is listen. my house. <laughs> and we, we, yeah, when the mamba talks, we yeah, listen. Yes, beautiful. That's, a, that's quite a nice bull, Trevor. You know, probably in the 20 pound range. Um, maybe a 25, 25 year old bull. Um, but you know, it's our first day and we're going we're gonna to be looking around a little bit and, and see what we can find. It doesn't look like he's in must at the moment. That one? No, no, you can't see. There's no, there's no fluid coming out of his temporal glands. There is cows right here by us now and there's some cows above him. But he's not paying them much, much attention, you know. Very interesting way that, that elephants live because the bulls get in and out of mass, so it doesn't, it's not only the biggest bull that breeds, mm. even the big bulls that can fight the best gets out of mass and he doesn't, he's not interested in the cows. And they just keep their distance, but they... And they keep their distance and, you know, and, and they the follow other, the herd? Other, other bulls, no, not at all. Not other at bulls all. will get the chance to breed okay. and he won't fight with the other bulls because, he's, you know, his, his testosterone levels are all the way down and then other, bull, uh, other bulls will get the chance. So it, you know, it keeps the genetics very um, spread out.
Just close your eyes and think of me Cause life can break I, I hope this first day thing doesn't bite me And what is happening? As per usual, I'm struggling with the overwind on a bait caster because I got too enthusiastic. <laughs> I always say fishing is, is part of hunting. I mean, what better life can you have than hunting elephants in the morning? Now it's almost lunchtime. Busy fishing, gonna have a nice braai now at the camp. That's a big elephant. Let's go and see if we can get him. But once you're there um, and you're on foot and you are in the moment and you are committed, um, you, you must listen. You listen to everything um, you told. There's a reason behind it. Once you find it, then, then the excitement really, really starts. And it, you know, this hunt was no different. Um, we, we, we spotted this bull from a, from a hill and look at him and of course you have to look at him closer you know to see the thickness of the ivory and you know what the track looks like so you you know so that you can determine you know think you know what is going to be at the lip and all of that and then you know we try and do that and we get over a little rise and this bull is feeding towards the boundary of our block and uh, i don't think um, so many prayers have gone up so quickly you know, for that bull not, not to go out of the block and, and we were so fortunate, you know, with the wind or something or some some good morsel. Big old marula just broke it up, ate all the bark. Wow, oh, come back and they're still feeding on it. You can see the metal yeah. tusks yeah. taking it off. And he fed right back and we had the wind perfect and uh, you know you will see it he really liked that Mupani you know that was a special Mupani for him and that was the Mupani that that uh, gave us the opportunity um, to kill this beautiful bull
come on kneel down right there <laughs> well, <laughs> that is a beautiful bull. Um, and you know, that's just, there is just nothing like it. It is, it, it is the epitome of hunting. The way, we, the way we have done it and the experience that we've had. Magnificent bull, Trevor. Jeez. And I promise you, one of the biggest moments in your hunting career, right here, this morning. It's really intense. Um, I think there's, there's, a, there's a flood of emotion, certainly from me. Um, you know, once, once the hunt was over and, and, and the animal was down, and I think it's really just that you are so heightened with your your senses and um, and just at the whole experience. Trevor, a moment that you will never ever ever forget. Such a privilege. What an amazing hunt, you know, such an incredible animal. And you know, to be able to do this, you made the right choice, it's incredible. Yeah. And and you did exceptionally well. Absolutely phenomenal to get up close and then to be blessed yeah. such a with, with this type of animal and to and, and to contribute to conservation. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's what it's about as well. In the old days, the old elephant hunters, they were hunting on horseback. You know, they had their trackers and they were hunting on horseback and they would, they would run these elephants and they would kill the bulls. And, and then they would carry on hunting. But you know, there's people in the hunting blocks, you know, coming behind. So the way to identify, you know, without a doubt, your elephant, you know, when the day of hunting is done, or the two days of hunting is done, to come back to your elephant and claim your tusks and whatever you want from it, just to cut the tail. And I, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit, because we see it more and more and more, more and more reports of elephant-human conflict. And we know the elephant population, certainly in South Africa, in this area, has grown exponentially. Um, and as is the human population, like you said, so, you know, um, it's an unfortunate thing. It's a privilege to be able to do it, but it's also an unfortunate situation that needs to be managed. That properly. needs to be managed. Absolutely. Be absolutely. Managed One shot. Congratulations. Put this thing on. And, well, we'll still see if we're going to trust that shaky, shaky camera, man. <laughs> shaky, Our, shaky. Uh, but I got that footage 100%. <laughs> <laughs> shooting the perfect shot and also experience some buck fever <laughs> or elephant fever but yeah that's feelings you will never get somewhere else very big achievement fantastic thank you my mate <laughs> i appreciate it and uh it's and it's an elephant skull with tusks, and they called scullies, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And that's that's to co that's to commemorate what we did today, the fantastic animal we took, the wonderful day with friends that I spent, 